magical friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a magical unboxing for you. I was sent something from the Forgotten Corner, partly for a congratulations on hitting 1000 subscribers and partly to kind of show off some of the interesting items that they have from the 1981 box. So I'm really, really excited. I have it here. It's got my address right on top and there is a little love heart right here with 1K on here. Really, really excited and I cannot wait to see what we get inside. Don't forget guys, if you haven't done already, please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and to the notification bells on as well to be notified every time I upload a video and you can always go and check me out on my social media. A big shout out as well to my patrons, you guys are amazing. If you are interested in joining us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below, you can go and check it out. Okay, so we have some goodies to unbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and get straight on into this. Now I'm going to do my best not to stab myself. And someone actually did tell me off the other day, I did an unboxing and I cut towards myself and they were like, oh, don't do that. So I'm gonna try my best to cut away from myself this time around, making sure that I'm not gonna stab myself or do anything that I shouldn't be doing. So let me just get on into this box. Okay, I'm into the box, I think. Okay, now I'm into the box. <laughs> okay, so on top, I am just basically seeing some bubble wrap and then some bits and bobs on the inside. I can't actually see. Ooh, I can see one thing. One thing is really standing out to me. It's tucked right into the corner, but it's this. Oh my gosh, I haven't got a Howler Africa. This is too cute. So of course on the front here he says Ronald Weasley Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry on the front is very obviously a howler. I am so excited. We got a little wax seal on the back as well with some ribbon. That is too cute. It's even got a little W there for Weasley. This looks so cute. So if I have a little look on the inside, oh wow, this is too cute. So we have the inside is a full letter with the message that Molly sort of screams at poor Ron in the middle of the Great Hall for everybody to hear. I always feel really sorry for him in that scene. He's like, oh my God. My mum's yelling at me in front of like the whole castle. This is like so embarrassing. And so of course it says, Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? I am absolutely disgusted. Your father's now facing an inquiry at work and it's entirely your fault. If you put another toe out of line, we'll bring you straight home. Oh, and Ginny dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud. <laughs> that is really, really sweet. I really like that. It is something that I don't currently have in my collection is a Howler replica. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. That is a great start. So thank you so much. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this to one side and now I can actually move some of the bits and bobs out of the way. I'm seeing three scrolls on top. Oh, that was right, yeah. So this thing, I can't open until the very last thing. I remember being told not to open this one until last, and it does say on here, last. So that's the one I've got to remember not to open. But this one has a little tag on here, and it says, Care of Magical Creatures, Niffler, R.H. Rubius Hagrid, 1995. Uh, and it says, oh, it says the same thing on the on both sides. So let's have a little look as to what this is. I'm very intrigued. Something to do with Nifflers, I'm assuming. But we can never fully assume. We have to see what things are. Oh, wow. Oh, this is really sweet. I really like this. So we have a sort of niffler print slash poster kind of thing. It kind of looks like a page that's been torn out of a creature's book. This is really, really lovely. Look at the artwork on here. This is, oops, this is so cute. So down the bottom here, it says young niffler, but we can see it's a little baby niffler. And up here then we've got the adult and the adult's got some Gringotts coins in its hands. Uh, it says runs very fast. Uh, it says habitat and terrain codes. We've got all the information there on the Niffler. So this is really cute. It says long snouted burrowing creatures native to Britain with a penchant for anything shiny. This is really sweet. I really like that. That baby Niffler is just too adorable as well. I mean, look at that face. Who couldn't love that face? I love them. I love Nifflers. So now we have this rolled up piece of parchment as well. Uh, this one says, thank you for supporting my small business. So let's have a little look what you are. Okay, ooh. Oh, hello. Ooh, we have a little extra piece in here as well. So there's a little piece here. And then we have this beautiful print artwork of Luna and the Thestral. How beautiful is that? I've never seen anything like this before. This is a really, really lovely one. So of course we've got Luna over here with her Spectra Specs and we've got a Quibbler poking out of a bag. We've got obviously the fact that she's got no shoes on as well. That's really, really sweet. And then we've got this really beautiful, majestic looking Thestral as well. That is absolutely beautiful. I really like that. 
that is really really lovely the little bit of paper that was sort of tucked up inside is again it kind of looks like it's been torn out of either the daily prophet or a book of some kind and it says festral thoughts in the order of the phoenix not many students or teachers could see the festrals but sadly by the last book most teachers and pupils could now see these magical creatures obviously with the battle of hogwarts a lot of them saw a lot of their friends or even family members sadly pass away so yeah by the end of book seven uh, or film eight depending on how you look at it a lot of the students were then able to see the Thestrals and that's really, really sad. But Thestrals are beautiful creatures. It would be a shame because at the moment, no, at the moment I would not be able to see a Thestral myself and it's a shame really because they are really, really beautiful and majestic creatures. But at the same time, I'm kind of grateful that I can't see them because I would not want to witness anyone passing away. That's not very nice. Unless you count pets. I did sadly see my dog pass away, so maybe that would work. I don't know fully. Do let me know in the comments below. Do you know if pets would count for seeing a Thestral or would it have to be a human that you see pass before you can see them? Do let me know. Okay, so next I'm seeing a baggie, but I might save that for just a moment because we have more paper bits in here, which I'm very intrigued by. I do love, ooh, just saw something move and there's a key. I'm gonna leave that for a minute. I'm gonna go with the two little bits of paper that I pulled out. So here we have a Ministry of Magic envelope, which says my name on here. So it says Kaylee Christensen, and then it says for Privet Drive, Little Whingin. So I now live with Harry Potter, which is absolutely fine. I have no problems about that. I would give the Dursleys a piece of my mind, mind, but I don't mind living there. Okay, so this one says, subject, YouTube-y. Okay, so it says, dear Kaylee Christensen, it has been brought to our attention that 07 a.m. on the 4th of October, you reached 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube station. I will be the first to admit I have no clue what a YouTube is, but Ron tells me it's an entertainment platform. A bit like Visual Wizarding Wireless Network. How splendid. Sorry, I got sidetracked. The reason why I am writing is a friendly reminder to always keep your contents muggle worthy. Regards, Arthur Weasley, head of Muggle Artifact Office. Oh, forgot to mention, Hermione said to tell you she's watching you. Uh oh, pressure's on. Hermione Granger is watching me, and now, of course, Arthur Weasley. I hope is now tuned into my channel. That is really funny. I really like that, and I do hope also that Ron is is also watching me because that would make me very happy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so yeah, that's another really cool item. So that's really really sweet. I'm gonna keep that somewhere safe. Okay, then we have this one. So this one says, top secret, the head goblin in charge of all goblins, Gringotts Bank, Diagon Alley. So we've got this little letter here as well, which says, uh, sorry, it doesn't say confidential, it says top secret on here. So let's have a look, what is inside this one? Okay, so we have another letter. Okay, so it says, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, reference vault number 713. Dear Head Goblin, I, Alvis, Percival Wolfric, Brian Dumbledore, am writing this letter to indicate that I authorised Rubius Hagrid to act on my behalf with regards to the package in Vault 713. In regarding transferring the package from Vault 713 of the Bank of Gringotts to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry Castle, this letter will be valid until I provide a second written letter stating otherwise. You are requested to give him complete access with your assistance to the above mentioned vault. Please treat this information as strictly confidential. Thank you for your assistance and cooperation. Sincerely, Albus Dumbledore. So that's really, really cool. So obviously this is the letter that Hagrid would have handed over to the goblin at Gringotts Bank in order to access Vault 713 and pick up the Philosopher's Stone. So this is really, really cool. I really like this as well. Okay, I am seeing a key now, so I'm gonna quickly pull this. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. Okay, so we have this Vault 713 Gringotts key. That is really sweet. I really like that. The little tag on here is, I think it's plastic, if not maybe a resin, I'm not 100% sure, but it does say Vault 713 on here, and obviously then it is tied onto this really lovely old looking key, which could very easily be a key to one of the vaults in Gringotts. This is really, really lovely. I love how it's quite aged as well. It's quite decorative and ornate. Yeah, that's a really, really lovely item as well. So that's definitely going on my shelves. I love that. Okay, I'm seeing more foamy things to keep things protected. So let's move these to one side and see. Ooh, what is this? We have something big, bubbly wrapped. And then we have some more papery bits at the bottom. What are you? Let's have a look. This has been packaged oh so carefully. And I'm trying to get into it. It's some kind of plate. Very intrigued. Oh, oh this is so cute. Oh my God. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, so we have a kind of 
filch slash umbrage collab here. This is really, really sweet. So we have a cat plate that I have no trouble believing you would find in Umbridge's office. Obviously you've got these lovely pink sort of roses in the background and around the edge here it says, I must not tell lies. And then in the middle we have Mrs. Norris with her really lovely red eyes. She looks quite menacing, but also very majestic. And she's sitting as well, I've just noticed, she's sitting on the quill that uh, Umbridge used when Harry's obviously writing, I must not tell lies. And it obviously etches across the back of his hand. This is so cool. <laughs> This, this is really, really awesome. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Something I've not seen anything like this at all before. This is so, so cool. I mean, I've seen like Umbridge style plates before, but nothing was sort of with Mrs. Norris on here and nothing quite so detailed in the sense that it's got the I must not tell lies around the edge. This is really, really cool. I really like this. Okay, I've not forgotten about our little baggie, but I am still going to save that for a moment. I do have a couple bits and bobs left in the bottom here. Ooh, okay, there's a few bits and bobs left in the bottom here. Okay, so this says Dudley Dursley, number four, Pridget Drive, Little Surrey, Whinging, England, uh, Great Britain. And we have a big envelope. What is inside of you? Ooh, I'm seeing gold foiling. Ooh, what's this? Distance Award, five metres. Awarded for achievement to Dudley Dursley, date the 13th of May 2001, from Mrs. Joyce Haddock. Is this like a swimming award? Did Dudley get a swimming award that I'm not remembering? I don't know. But this is kind of cool though. So we've got this really nice little fish on here. It says five metres. And we've got some beautiful gold foil in it going around the edge. That's not the, all that's in here though. So let's have a little look what else we have. Okay, then we have... Oh, this is sweet so we have a number four private drive house plaque this is really sweet i really like this if i put this outside though am i going to confuse my mailman possibly i'm possibly going to confuse it i might have to stick this on my philosopher's stone shelf though like, like on the back of my shelf that would be really really cool this is really pretty i really like this it looks just like the one from the film this is really really cool there's nothing to stick it on so obviously what i probably end up doing is getting like some um sticky back stuff to pop onto the back of here and then popping it onto the back of my shelf that might be quite nice so it's almost like that kind of thing but just more on the back of the shelf that's really sweet I really like that as well the next little piece of paper I have here is the letter from Mathilda Hopkirk when Harry uses the Patronus charm in front of Dudley and obviously trying to save himself and Dudley as well and obviously then he gets a letter telling him that he's broken the violation for the decree of reasonable restriction of underage sorcery so yeah, this is that letter. That is really lovely as well. So that's that one. And then we have another ministry letter. Now this time this is written to Mr. H.J. Potter, number four, Privet Drive. And we have a lovely wax seal on the back as well with an M for ministry. I'm going to pull that off carefully. I hate destroying wax seals, so I'm always very careful with them not to break them. Okay, what's this letter all about? Oh, we've got the same one. Okay, I don't know if that was a mistake because I've got one in the letter and one out of the letter. So maybe this one is like letters kind of keep as a replica and this one maybe to display. I don't know or I don't know if it's maybe just a mistake that I accidentally got to. Either way though, this is really, really cool. Again, same kind of situation where Harry gets the letter sort of informing him that he's broken the decree for reasonable restriction of underage wizardry. And yeah, that was that one as well. I'm gonna pop you back in there. I suppose it's quite cool because I've got like this one now with the letter clearly inside and I could always have that alongside it. So that might be quite a cool idea. So still don't know if it was intentional, but either way, it's cute. Okay, then I have, oh, it's a business card. Yeah, so this is the business card for the Forgotten Corner. So I'll put that on there as well. And then we have this very cool book. So this says Care of Magical Creatures, volume number one, Nifflers. Now this is very shiny. I like this. It's kind of like this rose gold kind of color. We've actually got a binder on here as well to keep it together, oh, like that. And what is this? Oh, it's a notebook. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah, so inside here, we just have some lovely lined paper. Very simple, very easy to use. I quite like that, actually. I was half expecting it to be a coloring book. I don't know if it was because of the niffler on the front, but I thought, oh, maybe this is a coloring book. But no, it is a notebook, which is even better in my eyes. So yeah, that's really, really cool as well. I do really like the color of this as well. That's really, really shiny and pretty. Don't see an awful lot of like rose gold stuff in the wizarding world. So that's very cool. And yeah, who doesn't love a niffler? So that's cool as well. Really like that. Okay, yes, we are now down to the end. So we have got the little baggie and then the rolled up thing that says last on here as well. So I will now go ahead and open what is in the little baggie. Like if I can get it out of the little baggie, that is. I'm going to poke myself in the eye doing this. Ooh. Okay, we are out. 
Okay, so we are a wrapped up brown parcel. I'm just gonna take the tiny bits off and see what you are. Oh, wow. We have our very own Philosopher's Stone, you guys. This is really nice. Look at this. It's a bit pointy on the end. I'm not gonna lie. I must stab myself with that then. But yeah, this is a really nice Philosopher's Stone. That's really, really cool. I really like that. The color is spot on. It's just how like I would imagine the color of the Philosopher's Stone to be. And if you kind of turn it, it goes a little bit lighter in like parts and darker in parts. So yeah, to me, that is a really, really good little replica. That is really cool. I like that. Right, so that is everything in the box apart from the last two weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and see what we have on here. So let's have a look. Oh, you are kidding me. This is so cool. <laughs> we have a daily profit pullout, uh, which has a big picture of me on here. That's a, I like that photo of me. This is like the best photo I've ever taken of myself. So you can see it there. I use it for a lot of my social media posts, like photos and things like that. So that's really cool. And it says Kaylee Christensen reaches 1000 subscribers by Rita Skeeter. And then it's got this whole article about how I've hit 1000 subscribers. This is so cute. Oh, Welsh witch Kaylee was out celebrating last night as her YouTube channel reached over a thousand subscribers. The Wizarding World star of stage and screen was seen at the Leaky Cauldron having a few too many butterbeers. That would definitely be me <laughs> if I was in the Wizarding World. This is so cool. Uh, the mother of three who was born to a muggle family has spent a lot of her spare time making creative magical content for magical folk and muggles everywhere. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, as I'm reading, I don't want to read the whole thing to you because they might be bored, but for me, this is amazing. Right at the bottom here, it says, The Weasley Scandal. Kaylee has often been linked to the wizarding legend Ronald Weasley, even though she has always insisted she is happily married and her and Ron were never more than good friends. Scandal? Oh, but the fact that Hermione Weasley has yet to subscribe tells a very different story. <laughs> That is amazing. This is so funny. I absolutely love this. This is one thing that just makes me so happy in regards to The Forgotten Corner is everything they do is so personalised to whoever they're making it for. And things like this just, I mean, you can see the smile on my face. I'm absolutely beaming with this. This is so cool. She goes to so many lengths just to make such magical amazing items that are so personal and just bring so much joy so thank you so much to Forgotten Corner for sending me this I'm just so so happy with this <laughs> and it says YouTube star saint or sinner depends on the day I'm not gonna lie <laughs> this is brilliant thank you so so much to the Forgotten Corner for sending me these items. I am so thrilled. This was such a fun unboxing. I have had a couple um sort of down days. I know that sounds really weird because I have been really really thrilled with the fact that I've hit a thousand subscribers. I'm really really super um, amazingly grateful to everyone that has subscribed to my channel, who watches my channel. I've just been so so happy to have hit a thousand subscribers. But I have had a couple sort of mental health down days, I suppose. So um, this has really, really lifted my spirits. It's made me feel so much better. Thank you so much for the Gotten Corner once again. I'm just so happy right now. Thank you so much. So guys, what did you think to the items that were sent to me from The Forgotten Corner? What was your favourite? What was your least favourite? I am just absolutely blown away with everything. All the different pieces are just so cool in their own different ways. I love the plate, the Philosopher's Stone. I really liked the little Privet Drive sign as well. That's really, really cute. The Bolt Key, the Niffler book. I just think everything was just brilliant. All the paper replicas we had as well. And of course, the extra item for me, which is the Daily Profit cutout, is just absolutely brilliant i was so so chuffed with that i'm putting it nice and safely to one side by this so i can show my husband that in a second because i think he's gonna find that really really funny as well so yeah thank you so much once again to forgotten corner i can't thank you enough i probably said it like 12 times already but honestly thank you so so much i'm really really grateful if you enjoyed this video guys please do give it a magical thumbs up for me so that you know and don't forget as well if you haven't done already to please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community and turn the notification bells on as well to be notified every time i upload a video and i will see you very soon in the next one bye you guys